Hi everybody, welcome back. Sipsopolis, uh, once again, profitable. Once again, swimming in money. Well, I say swimming. 73,000 is a lot more than we've had in the past couple of episodes, though. It's got to be said. Uh, we made some really big changes to Sipsopolis that needed to happen. Uh, we've gotten rid of this entire high wealth area. It looks like uh, Monsanto's Synthiculture uh, has taken some sort of uh, damage... Possibly from aerial bombardment, it looks like. What is this? Why are there so many, like, shit stains on the side here? Uh, this uh, really fancy-looking building has also been abandoned uh, because uh, we've had to shut down the school level on the Tom Clock Mega Tower, which I'm pleased to report is back in business. Look at that. It's, uh, it's really uh, draining money out of the city right now because uh, people, for uh, a number of reasons, are unhappy. Uh, power is a major issue now. We have a 19 megawatt deficit uh, in the city. We're going to have to get this fusion plant built uh, before long. Look at that. 1,450 control net uh, that we'll need. Uh, it'll provide us with 200 megawatts, though, and uh, cause no pollution whatsoever. I don't know if a fusion power plant can, like, melt down or explode or create, like, a wormhole or some sort of black hole on Earth. Uh, if it goes wrong, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. I don't know. It may be the end of Sipsopolis. It may be just what we need to keep the city uh, up and running because this wind power is no longer doing the job. Uh, we may need to add like a solar farm, a temporary solar farm in to help out, possibly uh, a coal power plant or something, uh, but it is a bit of a problem. Look at that. We now have a yeah, it's dipping back down. It is becoming a huge problem, actually. Uh, we, of course, can make a nuclear power plant, uh, which would be fun and probably hilarious to watch meltdown, uh, because it would, uh, knowing me. But uh, but there you go. Uh, is there anything that we can do uh, to help with power? Is there any like more boosting that can be done? Can we just add like another uh, Big Bertha down here? Will a Big Bertha fit? No. We may need to just get a couple of more small turbines in here just to help out. Fine. 5,000 big ones to place a couple of more of these, uh, but we need them. Uh, power is becoming, once again, a little bit of a problem. It's been a while since it's been a problem. Uh, it's been a good long while, actually. Uh, but it's fine. We'll be able to get rid of this huge wind farm before long. Uh, the Tom Clark Mega Tower demands power. It will not uh, be profitable without uh, power. So once those turbines uh, rev up and start working, we should notice that we go back slightly into the green, hopefully. And anyone? Green? Almost? Minus one? Not bad. Uh, are we still wait? Oh! Minus 0 0.9. We're slowly, slowly clawing our way back. Oh, look at that. We've got excess. Okay, great. Uh, and look at this. You can see the power pulsing into the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower. Tom Clark, I never thought I would say this, has become a little bit of a problem, actually. He's this... I'd say a small thorn in my side, but this is one big mega tower, and actually it's become a, a huge issue. And I think, actually, uh, we can get a level on the Tom Clark Mega Tower that will provide power to it. It being the biggest consumer of power in the city at the moment. Let's take a look at that, actually. We can add a crown that uh, gives us power. Oh, look at that, yeah. We can make a solar power crown for 60,000. It's going to cost us 1,200 an hour, but uh, we'll produce 200 megawatts during peak hours. That's a generation one solar power crown. Soak up solar radiation to power your mega tower. Also, the regional bonus is to boost power crown power output with additional power crowns, okay? Uh, but 200 megawatts during peak hours, wow! That's huge! That's really huge! It's gonna cost us 60,000 to place this, and it's gonna generate, uh, oh, sorry, it's gonna cost us 1,200 an hour to run, but it's gonna pr provide a lot of power, and it's a lot of much needed power at the moment, and that coupled with a fusion power plant later on down the line when we can afford it, I think this might actually help us out uh, in the short term, uh, which is what we need. Uh, it's a big investment. It's a bit risky with the amount of money that we're making at the moment. Uh, but if worse comes to worse, we'll just shut down the Mega Tower again. But I think we should go for it. I think we're going to do it. 
Uh, a Generation 1 Solar Power Crown. This is going to look interesting on the top, actually. This will be the actual uh, finishing touch for the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower, if you can believe it. Holy crap. All right, let's go for it. Wow. Looks very good. Start construction. All right, here we go. Uh, it is slowly being built. I, it doesn't even fit in the screen anymore. It's so goddamn... Oh, my lord. This is exciting. Look at the fucking size of it. It's enormous. It's so big. It's so cool. I love it. It's so awesome. Jesus. Really, 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 really good. Uh, some of our services have been uh, neglected for a long time now. It's got to be said. I can't remember the last time I looked at health, fire, or police coverage. Uh, just because we've been scrambling around trying to make Sipsopolis work so desperately. Oh, look at this. There's a lot of people dying, apparently. Oh, look at that. Tower topper. Add a crown to the top of the Mega Tower. We did it. We've got a solar power crown on top of the Mega Tower. Has that fed into the grid? I think it has a little bit. Look at that. We've got 6.5 megawatt X. Oh, my Lord. We have 246.5 megawatt excess. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. I mean, if it can just power the Mega Tower as well, that, that's enough, I think. That is more than enough. Great. Holy shit. Okay, so are we fully powered? I think we are. Yes, we are. Okay, excellent. Great. What a view. Uh, the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower has been fully powered. Great. Thanks to this crown, we have uh, no power issues at the moment across the entire city, which is very good. We have a couple of abandoned buildings that we can do with knocking down. We're knocking them all down. Very good. Uh, and everything so far seems to be running okay. We're slightly profitable. We've still got a whopping 32,000 in the bank uh, to play with, which is very good. How are we doing with our bonds? We've almost paid... Oh, look at this. We're going to pay this whole one off. And in fact, we're going to pay this one off too. We only have one bond outstanding now. So we have like two lifelines basically if shit really hits the fan again. Great. Perfect. This is going much better. Okay. So uh, we should see much traffic coming out of the Mega Tower uh, onto hopefully this uh, avenue here uh, and then back up along to here. How are we doing with health? Is health a bit of a problem? We have three deaths per day. It's not a huge problem. We've got an ambulance here responding to some sort of uh, uh, domestic issue involving possibly like a heart attack or whatever. Looks like everybody in here has died. Oh no, it's the high taxes. Uh, that these people don't like. Uh, a little bit of a problem, the high taxes for the wealthy. Uh, but there's nothing that we can do about it right now. We have a massive amount of demand uh, for high wealth uh, people. We can maybe uh, think about getting one of those luxury mega towers and uh, run into the same goddamn problems we ran into with Tom Clark over here. Um, hopefully not though. Hopefully we've learned uh, from our mistakes uh, and we'll be able to uh, make it a roaring success, our first luxury mega tower. We've got to save up a lot of money in order to get one, unfortunately. Uh, but it's achievable now. We're profitable. Look at that, 998 an hour. We've got 30,346 uh, in the bank. And our population is back up to, wow, 49,000 people. Great. Okay. Uh, let's start chipping away. We've got a little bit of industrial demand. Uh, we need to start thinking about... Uh, potentially creating some industry in the city. Uh, High-tech industry, of course, is probably going to be better. Uh, how much is this actually giving us right now? It's currently generating 117 megawatts, uh, and we have an excess of 246. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, that cap on the mega tower has really transformed um, my whole plan for power in the city. Jesus. I think we'll still need a fusion reactor, but I wonder if we can actually get away with shutting this down. Look at this. Should we try it? Let's try it. We're going to shut it down and see how we... Oh, no. Ah! We've still got 148.4 megawatt excess, which is fucking crazy when you think about it. There's a lot of solar power being generated by the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower right now. It's nuts! And look at that. Shutting down the entire wind farm uh, has sort of uh, tricked the city into thinking that, oh no, it's control net that it's complaining about. 
Why is it complaining about control net? We don't need any control net. Is it just because this thing... Yeah. It exists. Okay. Well, I think we can get rid of this. I think we can actually get rid of this. 151 megawatt... Ex It'll be interesting, actually, to see now that it's, like, uh, nighttime and becoming night. <laughs> what happens to the city? The city just plunges into... Uh, into like a permanent darkness and is without power the minute the sun goes down uh you'd hope that maybe the uh the crown uh could like hold or there's like some sort of generator inside the mega tower right now like holding a ton of power seems to be doing okay we might just have to see how it goes it's 2 a.m right now uh there hasn't been any sun for a good couple of hours and we still seem to be holding out okay we still have 151 megawatt excess uh, which is pretty good, actually. And no no real power problems to speak of. A couple of the floors seem to be going, like, without power. Like, maybe brownouts or whatever. But overall, I think we're okay. I think we can actually get rid of this wind farm and maybe build some industry over here. We have, like, quite a bit of demand for industry. Fine. We're going to do it. We're going to get rid of it. I'll do it! Oh, we spent so much money building that wind farm and Big Bertha and all the rest of it. But it's gone now. And we have no power problems to speak of, uh, which is a good thing. That means now uh, we're free to build a whole bunch of industry over here, uh, which will benefit the city like you wouldn't believe. My god, we're going to make a ton of money off uh, industry over in this area. It's going to be fantastic. We'll upgrade this road to high density. Let us also go for... Uh, we don't need to go for that just yet. Uh, we want to get rid of these dirt roads that are here. Fuck dirt roads. Come on, get out of here. Or even uh, why 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 the whole dirt road needs to go why would you do why would you even do that uh, let's go for uh, square roads we want to get uh, some of these and we ideally want to make like a square oh look the angle is too sharp because of the curve it's because of the curve okay we're gonna have to go for straight roads then uh, let's go for something like oh look at this this is gonna be great we'll, we'll run it parallel to this avenue and then look at this we'll have it like oh yeah that's great oh I've never made like a cool triangle looking road before really pleased with that that's worked out really well actually uh, of course it's kind of shit at the same time but there you go we're gonna have some industry there let's have some industry there and we'll have some industry here also let us have some industry here look at that it's like a triforce of industry my god i never thought i would say that before in my life uh let us also get a bus stop over here there's already one look at that there's already a bus stop servicing the industry triforce which is very good let's get a bus stop out here fantastic uh how's bus coverage in general it's, it could be better, actually. We'll get a bus stop right out front of this guy's mansion. He's going to be pissed. He does not like buses. Wealthy people hate the bus. Notorious for hating the bus, actually. Um, but there you go. It can't be helped. We have a little bit of industrial demand, which has hopefully been met with the Triforce of Industry going in. Uh, how are we doing for other stuff? Uh, we're doing okay. We just have a lot of demand now for uh, high wealth. Uh, so we we'll slowly make some high wealth. We are profitable by 1,078 per hour, which is very good. And we have 52,471 in the bank. My god, that solar thing on top of the Thomas Clark Memorial Mega Tower is uh, literally fantastic. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of abandoned buildings that we have to get rid of now, too. This, look at this one. We miss going to school. Stuff shit. There's no school. We need to switch that back on. That's been abandoned? I can't believe it. That was the best building in the entire world, and it's now been abandoned. That's so bad. I hope it's replaced uh, with a similar-looking building. That would be great. Look at all these fantastic bastards living down here on the beach. Look at that. They're really just enjoying the heck out of everything down here. I bet they are, actually. Uh, let's build them uh, some really crappy parks. We'll build them a basic park, an excitatorium. We'll futurize this whole area down here, too. It'll be real nice, actually. Uh, let's get an excitatorium in here. That'd be good. And we'll get one in the corner over here, too, and help out this area, too. Uh, there we go. And then we'll sort of uh, join up the futuristic part uh, down here with something else. Maybe like a maglev station or some sort of like future hover bus station, if it exists. I have no idea. Does a hover bus station exist? I really hope so. I think that would be fantastic. Oh, look. That really nice building has been replaced with some sort of diner. Wow. Imagine that. You imagine knocking down that huge... Oh, okay, look, it's been replaced. I was going to say, holy shit, that would just be pretty weird, actually. 
Uh, what the fuck, people? Come on, what are you doing? Why so many traffic jams? I can't believe it. All right, I think it's time now to uh, turn back on the school module. Uh, it costs 1,800 to run this beast uh, per month, or per hour, sorry, I, I lie. And we're only generating actually 1,775 big ones per hour right now. So we still can't actually turn it on. I can't believe it. It is a, a real um, draw on the money. But, of course, people get to go to school and they're happy for that. People love going to school. Uh, it's got to be said. I, of course, I do not love going to school. Uh, or And I didn't like going to school either when I had to. Uh, so I would have been glad uh, that the mayor shut down my uh, education level in the mega tower that I went to every day or lived or worked at or whatever. Uh, but maybe these people aren't so happy about that. It seems that people in SimCity love going to school and they're very uh, upset when there's no school to go to, which is unfortunate. All right. 1,910 per hour now, though, uh, which means that we can actually turn this on. Oh, look at that. We're in the hole. 143 bucks an hour. Uh, we should be able to climb out of that no problem, though. And uh, I think the actual education boost will help the city in general. Increase density and stuff. Uh, we'll get some high density low wealth, high density medium wealth. And we can start uh, thinking about placing some high wealth uh, areas soon. Uh, which was, of course, here at one point. But now this has become some sort of slum. Uh, because we ran out of money. And of course, you can make a lot of money off slums, as it turns out. So there you go. Uh, what are these people asking me to do at the Academy? Mayor, now that the Academy has been upgraded, we should do add an annex. Yes, we should actually. We wanted to get that garbage pulverizer thing. I'll do it. Uh, not right now, though. I don't have enough money. I need to save up a little bit more money before I do that, Toots. I'm really sorry about that. She's very disappointed. I probably ruined her entire Christmas, but... It had to happen, unfortunately. Uh, more abandoned buildings. Can't believe it. Couldn't go to school. That's not going to be much of a problem. Uh, also for you people, not much of a problem in the future. The future is bright. Uh, because the school uh, module of the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower has been switched back on. So the people of Sipsopolis can once again be educated. Which is very good, actually. A very good thing indeed. Right. I leave you then. 65884 in the bank. Uh, profitable by 176 an hour. It's a very delicate balancing act. Population is rising, 52,819. We haven't even built uh, a tourist location yet. Uh, we need to build some more mega towers so that we can connect them with those skyways to alleviate even more traffic. And also, we need streetcars. We probably need to get streetcars in realistically fairly soon uh, to help alleviate some of this traffic as well. And uh, play around more with the whole maglev system and see if we can get people riding that as well. That'd be very good. So, as usual, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.